Hi there, Tom here from Underground TC. I just wanted to do a quick video addressing the differences between our cabinet evaporator and our ducted evaporator. Both of these evaporators come standard with two and a half inch port adapters. The ducted evaporator comes affixed with four two and a half inch ports. The cabinet evaporators, you have the choice between using a standard cabinet mount where you would have a louver or a grill facing outwards from the cabinet evaporator or you would make use of one of our two and a half inch 3D printed port adapters. These port adapters just affix like so using self-tapping screws and they allow you to use two and a half inch ID hose. Same as these guys here. Both of these evaporators feature a spout brush with blower. Both evaporators have the similar cooling capabilities. The main difference between the two outside of the, the obvious thermal molded plastic here, the ABS housing versus the sheet metal steel, is that the 916 evaporator, the cabinet style, has a much larger surface area on the cooling coil. Because of that much larger surface area, this evaporator is much more effective at removing humidity. Both evaporators have two half inch ports for condensations. They both have built-in drip trays, this one being a steel drip tray, this one being part of the molding itself. Both evaporators have the exact same CFM rating on the fan, the same control and the same wire. The key difference outside of their size is the cabinet evaporator is only capable of cooling. Our HVAC evaporator has two 5 8 inch ports and is capable of accepting a hydronic coolant loop and it is capable of heating using the same ducting as you would with the AC. Now these can also be adapted so you have louvers here for a flush mount style and then that way you could direct airflow in whatever direction that you require. The cabinet evaporator does require an intake directly from the back of it, minimum of two inches from the back of this coil. The ports are accessible right here for the refrigerant lines. The HVAC evaporator requires spacing around the cabinet to accept air from coming in from the right side, the left side and the middle sections and the refrigerant lines attach here and here. That pretty much sums up the differences. Both of these can accept louvers, um, ducting, all sorts of mounting options. Um, both have to be mounted the way they sit. They cannot be mounted sideways, mainly because the condensation tray would not be effective. It would leak outside of the unit so they require to be flat mounted. Depending on what your requirements are, whether or not you require heat, or you require the slim size of this unit, or if you require to remove a little bit moisture out of the air, air than that unit is capable of, both of these are solid choices. Both of them are made in the US. Both of them feature an Italian spa blower, and both of them are high quality units.